In this video, we'll learn how to reset your password in Oracle XE. Whether you still have access to your account, whether you've forgotten the password, or whether the password is expired. So what's the issue here? You're trying to log on to Oracle XE or Express Edition, and you've forgotten your password. I've done this many times, usually because I've gone some time since last using Oracle. Or the password has expired. The expiry for a password in Oracle XE is 180 days, about 6 months, so if you don't reset it in this period, it will expire. So how can you reset it? I'll show you how to reset your password, as well as reset it from another account if it has expired in this video. Let's have a look at how to reset your password. First, we'll set up a sample user just to play around with. To do this, we say create user John identified by and then the password. You notice I'm connecting as VM SysDBA, which is my SysDBA connection into my VM or virtual machine. It has a red border, which is a neat feature in SQL Developer to let me know that I'm connecting as a system account. Then I grant create session to this user. Let's quickly run these queries and then get on to resetting the passwords for them. All right, so that's created. Now let's set up a connection for John. All right, so I'm logged in as John, which is my regular non-admin user. In this example, this would be you. So how can you reset your password? This is done using the alter user command. You can run this in any IDE. Alter user John. Identified by a new password. So alter user John is the name of the user that you want to update the password for. Identified by is the keywords to use and then new password is the new password that you want to store. So let's run this command. In the output, it says user John altered. This means a password has been changed. You need some admin permissions to be able to do this though, if you're a different user account, or you can be logged in as the current user, which I currently am. So if this works, great. This means you're able to log in as your own account and update your password. We can also do this in SQL Plus. But if you can't do this because the password has already expired or you've forgotten it, then you won't be able to log in and actually run this command on your own account. But don't worry, we can log in as another account. Several accounts come with Oracle Express Edition, such as Sys or System. You can log in with one of those accounts and change the password. Let's go back to our other tab here, where we're logged in as a SysDBA account. So let's say that we tried to log in as John, as our account, but we didn't know the password. We need to log in as a system account and then alter the password here. We can do this because the account we're logging in is an admin account. Let's run this command here and see what happens. We can see that user John has been altered. Now we're able to log in as John using this new password here. So that's helpful if you have access to your system account, but not the original account that you want to use. Let's try and do this in SQL Plus as well, just in case you don't have an IDE set up. So on Windows, you'll need to open a command prompt and run SQL Plus. Let's open up the command prompt on Windows. I'm running a virtual machine because I need to run Oracle Express on a Mac, which I'll have a separate video for. But if you're running Oracle Express on Windows, then you should be able to open a command prompt. Once your command prompt is open, type in SQL Plus. Once SQL Plus starts, you can enter your system username and password. This would be sys as the username and whatever the password is for that account. The message that appeared suggests that I needed to connect as sysdba, which means I'll have dba privileges when I log in. Now that I've logged in, I can run that same alter user command, alter user john, 
identified by some password, which will reset the user John to have that password. So that's how you can reset a password in SQL Plus or in SQL Developer. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel by using the big subscribe button on the page to keep up to date with all the Oracle SQL videos that are released. Also, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and leave a comment as well.